Welcome everybody to more of the forest. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. The last camera looked kind of, uh, what's the best word to describe it? A little bit washed out. So I have since fixed that and will be continuing my fantastic journey, journey, yeah. journey across the entire world that is the forest, of course, after I shanked that. So, with that, the place looks rather nice, I must say. The uh, I, I'm referring to, like, my, my house or whatever it is. But this place looks pretty good. But I'm going to start off continuing a nice bit of running across the border. Um, now, if I can find... Where is the border? Oh, no, here's my stats. That's all good. So, I'm going to run across the border of the map. And be going from there in an attempt to find any kind of, I don't know how to say it, perhaps conservation or anything that's super important that might be useful to me. However, I do actually need water. And funny enough, it's not something that I've been drinking much of. So I might need to go ahead and... Can I, can I drink this pond? Get out of there, lizard. Can I drink this pond water? Is that weird of me? Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. I thought I was allowed to drink pond water a while ago, but that may no longer be the case. What if I drink it down here? No? Do I need to be crouched? Ah, I need to be crouched. Sips. Sips. Uh, am I... Uh, was this pond water gross? Well, I'm coughing a lot, so I'm going to assume yes. Anywho, I've decided that I'm going to start making my way around the borders of the map in an attempt to not only discover more about the world, but also to make a couple makeshift shelters on the way and be able to work with... Oh no, my fire. Uh, be able to work with all the stuff going on. So, with that, I have my teeth on this thing. I've actually been told, though, that the club, this standard club, is, in fact, the strongest weapon in the game in sheer damage. And so, part of me wants to just buff the club, basically. Uh, increasing the damage of the weapon, which uh, seems to be booze and sap. However, I am out of sap, so I can increase it, but minus the speed of the weapon by doing sap and teeth. And so I kind of want to do that, which is something that I did similarly with the axe I recently had. Also, the blocking properties of this thing is, is very impressive either. I mean, it already has practically no speed to begin with, but I'm okay with that. All right. So if we're over here, I'm going to take to the south area this time around. Make sure to have all my rocks, which I now have a full container of rocks or a full list of rocks. And now I'm going to go the opposite way I went before. Uh, also, I'm going to kill this lizard. I missed the lizard. The lizard came back. Okay, lizard. Stop. Thank you, lizard. I'm going to use the lizard for a little bit of extra, extra armor in the meantime. And also a little bit of meat. Lizard armor. Uh, now, I'm a little bit scared because I haven't seen those armsy dudes travel around the ups, upsides of the world. Uh, they were only in caves for a while. So with the armsy guys being all up and about, which I, I have now realized that they are indeed called armsies. Uh, with them being up and about, it does worry me a tad. Uh, because those guys are not necessarily what I would call, um, uh, friendly or easy to kill. I should probably change this song at some point. I really don't need to keep this song the way it is. Alright. Onward and forward. Slowly. I wish there was a way to get more stamina. So I could sprint longer. I bet, there, I bet there is a way, and I just don't know how to do it. Alright. Let me get some sticks. Because if I'm ever going to make any kind of 
legitimate uh, marker, I'm going to need more sticks. Oh, that was quite the jump, buddy. All right. Going across the border. So far, not really finding much. Seems like most of the major things are near the bottom of the of the map. And that's a little, or sorry, the top of the map, and that's a little bit unfortunate for me. At least in the terms of me trying to discover stuff from across the border of this entire area. This club is so weird with the hands. You know, I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's it's also just really weird. I don't know. Tree. Do do, do 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 do. I'm gonna get so tired of this song eventually. I'm gonna get so sick of it sooner or later. I'm I'm already positive. Uh, oh well, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Well, getting to the tire of the song part that is. All right. How we doing? Anything? Nothing still? I mean, there are many different spawn... Wait, could I de-equip this? Do I run faster with everything de-equipped? Yup. Up. Uh, Up. Uh, <clears throat> cliff climbing. Hmm. Full islands. Or... I really call them islands. I mean, I guess you can call them islands, but really not much around here. I might need to actually go up this way if I want to actually get up here. All right, I'll, I'll put the different cassette in now. But does speed mean movement with the weapon or attack speed? I could have sworn it meant attack speed, but now I'm not sure. Hmm, I don't know anymore. Oh well. I'll figure it out eventually. Check on my map. Yeah, so far. So far. Just nothing. Absolutely nothing. It seems like most of the big stuff is going to be on the higher sections of the map. Seems like you you progress in a more literal fashion of going up in progression. Because you're literally going up. Any enemies? Thank you. No, but I found a noose. Yay. I can't even carry any more rope. Can't even break those down. Strange. Okay. So, still not finding anybody. Or anything. I should have gone the other direction. I honestly can't tell if this... If this katana is supposed to be for speed of motion or speed of attacking because they seem rather similar with speed of attacking but this thing has a significantly faster uh, or, or higher rating but mm, I'm not quite sure oh well I'll use the club for damage if I need to besides that of course I just get to run around with a katana I'm not a weeb I promise Not a whole lot around here. No, it's just a giant cliffside. A couple broken trees. Well, the good news is... Like, at least I know this. You know? I, I, I was gonna have to eventually make my way around and down this whole area. Eventually. And... There's nothing. But it's good to kind of write that off, to be like, oh yeah, you know, now you know that there's nothing here, so you don't got to worry about this place anymore. Hmm. 
Quite the interesting, quite the interesting area here. It's a big, it's a, it's a big, it's just a giant cliffside for almost the entirety of the bottom area. Is this anything special? This place looks better, looks different. I like that little, I like that little peninsula over there though. That. There's a boat! Uh, uh, is it... I'm not going to get my hopes too high up. I was about to ask if it is a, a recent boat, and I'm going to... I'm just. I'm not going to get my hopes too, too high up for it to be a recent boat. But there is still a boat, indeed. Before I go to the boat, I'm going to look around the boat real fast. Because of a lack of trust. Alright, can't carry any more computer chips. I should just turn those into explosives now that I have the opportunity. This is explosives, right? Yeah. This. A coin. What else do I need? Oh, I don't have any more booze. Damn it. Wait, isn't booze available in... Oh, there it is. Isn't booze available in these... Yeah, these, these packets. Two cloth. Sticks. Schmack. Electrical tape, more cloth. All my booze is in these little areas. And I could always use some more booze. I feel like I should start really making a, a, a conscious effort to get going in the story. Because it would appear that now that the armed dudes are out and about, that, I, I don't know, it, it worries me. I was really enjoying Log Simulator. In fact, I was goddamn loving Log Simulator. But it, it, the, the possibility that I might need to start getting a move on is getting high. All right. I don't see much around here. Let's go. Hey, fish. Wait. There's a bunch of beach sharks over there. Probably means this water has sharks in it. Screw it. It's worth it. I played through Raft. I've encountered the demon. I've, I've dealt damage to the demon. I've destroyed the demon, one might even say. I've de Actually, I did destroy the demon, but I defeated the demon. No other demon can challenge... Well, they might challenge me, but no other demon can defeat me. I was not defeated by that demon. I will not be defeated by this demon. Oh, wow. This is a full-on boat. Yacht. Top brands. Summer edition. Missing. Zachary something 12 years old. Um. There's some. I don't know what that picture is of. Booze. Yeah, this looks like human. Yeah, there's a lot of human remains in here. What is that? Is that a key card? By Megan Cross. Whoa. Oh, God. What is that? It has, all, it has all those legs. There's like a lot of legs. Air canisters. Oh, I can sleep here. Added notes. Come walk where all sub defenses. Find a way into the sinkhole. Find the missing plane passengers. Explore waterfall cave, ledge cave, wet cave. Find Timmy. Yeah, I got all that stuff. Um, hey, hey, man, do you have a guide on the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you have a guide on, like, the enemies? Mol 28 staff. I appear not. This guy's making s'mores. There's also a, a head in there. Is this the kid? Did the kid steal this yacht? Well, did the guy turn crazy? I... And what are these air canisters for? Let me look at the top of the yacht. Maybe there's some more stuff up there. Uh, 
Oh, more rope. More rope again. Damn it, can't break that. More rope again. Okay. Well, this is a little bit frightening. One more look. This is some kind... This looks like a key card. Normally locked things just get, need to be broken. I'm gonna just give it one shot because normally it's like, oh, a locked suitcase. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it needs to be a key card or... It looks like a key card. And, and if that kid is missing, I'm, a, I'm possibly assuming that that kid has the card, so I need to find the kid. Where's the kid's picture? You picked up the, the missing the missing kids thing. Can I not? Hmm. Guess not. I'd like to have seen more about it, but it looks like maybe the kid had some kind of uh, either the kid or the dad or I, I, I don't know. I got I got pieces together. It's just some yacht. But I also have air canisters. Oyster collected, and I can't see a thing. Well, an air canister would generally be for an O2 tank, or, or it is an O2 tank. And if it's an O2 tank, then if it's just a standard oxygen tank, then it would probably be used for deep sea diving or, or just just diving in general. And if you're you brought a tank for diving, is a turtle? Hey, turtle. I I don't want to kill you. You seem nice. Um, nice little sea turtle. Uh, but if it's if it's a tank for diving. Oh wait, there's a grave over here. New cassette collected. There's the boat. Uh, well, it's a fine boat, so whoever was here, whoever was here died. Well, obviously, but, um, so I guess the owner of the boat, maybe? Sorry, I just, like, teabagged his grave. My apologies. The owner of the boat has died here. But that would mean that somebody else had to bury him. Huh. No, no, no. I need a map. Huh. Interesting. What about that tree over there? I mean, call me superstitious, but... Well, no. Don't call me superstitious. But... The fact that there's just this random tree over there kind of seems weird. Well, in that case, if, if I'm trying to piece this to... Oh, hello. Wow, there's a whole lot of extra stuff over here. But if I'm trying to piece this together the best way I possibly can, my assumption is that... Okay, so someone's dead over there. But therefore, I would assume somebody would have had to have buried him. And I can't imagine it being the cannibals unless that was, like, the OG cannibal or something. So, in that case, there's also the picture of that big leggy-looking one. Um, and if that leggy one, that leggy ca cannibal may have been a part of it. My assumption is that if I can't open up the grave, and I can't find a key card... I really hope I didn't just miss the key card. The key card. I was doing my very best to not skim over the key card over there. But if I'm missing a, the key card over in that area, then I guess my assumption would be that the key card is exists with that weird leggy looking mutant. Or I called that a mutant. Would I call it a cannibal? I don't really know. But I would assume that it would exist with that. At least that's who would have the key card. But that leggy mutant... Uh, that... I can't 
Is that next to the waterfall? Or is that is that by those rocks back there? Or is that in a cave? I can't tell. It's like so overexposed. I might need to double check. I don't know. This tree, though, I don't know about you. It seems very, like, fancy. And there's all these little effigies over here, too. Which I believe actually ward off the mutants. Oh, hello. I mean, all right, a new clothing outfit's fine, I guess. See, now you have to ask the question, why would you put all of these little effigy things next to this tree? If these things try, tend to ward off the creepy mutants and cannibals, then you're obviously protecting something over here. You could be protecting the tree, maybe just the tree. It's oh, hello, dynamite. Oh, my ears. Old gun. Is that a flintlock pistol? No way. Wait, air canister refills rebreather. Wait, so is this? Oh, this thing does refill the chainsaw. It literally says right there. I got I to gotta look at that more often. So this does refill a rebreather. So it is a kind of diving. Okay. And this is the old flintlock pistol ammo. And that is... A cr okay, old gun part two. Oopsie. There we go. My bad. I accidentally hit a uh, alt tab. Um, that's ammo part two. Is there an oh, wait, is there another blow up spot? Or is that just the one? I feel kind of bad defiling that. It looks like it probably was his buddy's old wristwatch or something. Uh, as far as I know, that might be the only spot over there. Breaks the little effigies. Wait, if those weird effigy things ward off the cannibals, then how come it looked like so many cannibal camps had those effigies there? Uh, unless those those weren't actually cannibal camps to begin with? I... What is that over there? Oh, crap. It's dark and there's mutants and I actually don't really want to fight them. For the first time in my life, I don't really feel like fighting them. Ah, oh, shit. I can't even see. Let alone fight some random mutants. Okay. For here, I'll need to make some kind of shelter. I don't have any logs, though. Crap. Temper would be nice, but I don't have enough sticks. Brightness still doesn't work. Uh, still nothing. Color grading. What's modern do? 
That made everything so much easier to see. My god. Um. Wow. Uh. This thing does so much damage. And oh my god, they are so fast. Uh, stop, please. I was really hoping that they wouldn't notice me. Blech. They noticed me, though. I think that slightly chips my armor when they hit me with that. Stop. Okay. Well, I was really hoping to avoid that. But, uh, wow. Yeah, the modern... The modern graphics. This really helps. A lot. When it comes to visuals. Wow. Uh, film grain? Off? Ah, it's just film grain. I don't know, man. I might just leave it on here for a little bit. I still need a shelter, though. In fact, a, a standard hunting shelter might even be the best for this situation. There's a lot of really important stuff in this area. There's a boat and everything. I do need logs, though. Oh, crap. There's a light one. Put that down. Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah. This is so much easier to see. Oh, I mean, it still might be difficult for all of you to see, still, but it, for me, I mean, it, I'm, I'm sure it's better. I, I'm sure, I'm hoping that it's at least a little bit better than it was before for some of you. Hmm. Okay. It's scary and windy, and I really just want to get this damn tree to be, like, finished. I'll finish that. I just want this damn tree to be broken. There's a tent over there. I found a giant anchor, a tent, a yacht, among many other things. I have air canisters for a breather, which means I know for a fact there's a certain section, because I know how these games generally work, there's a certain section of area that will require me to go underwater for an extended period of time that would not I would not be able to survive without the rebreather. Which also makes me assume that the rebreather probably, I don't know, it is just a rebreather. I have no idea if it involves the goggles as well. But if it is involving goggles, then that means this rebreather will also uh, help me see underwater a lot better. Which could also be part of... Whatever might be happening. Ah, oh, there are my other logs. Wow. Local man cuts down a tree. Actually gets hit by a tree on way down. Shrugs it off like a madman. There's a raccoon. Hey, raccoon. Bye, raccoon. I call BS that, that raccoon is even... Even daring to just leave me alone. I know real raccoons would have slapped my, my titties. I know how real raccoon, raccoons are. Those guys are mean. They're, they're evil. They eat my food. There was actually a funny instance in which, uh, in which I was camping with my father. And we heard a bunch of rustling outside of our camp. And we looked in and we saw there was raccoons getting into our Tupperware containers. So the simple fact that they were able to undo the Tupperware and eat an apple... Well, actually, I wasn't keeping tupper, an apple in a Tupperware container, but they got in a Tupperware container and started eating something. It's a testament to how smart and a bunch of assholes raccoons are. Hmm. The story of this game is actually starting to get a little bit more interesting. Who would have guessed that it would get a lot more fun and cool when I stopped spending, like, 17 episodes of just collecting logs? That's a... Who would have guessed? You know? Not me.
how would I have known that log collecting simulator might not have been the perfect choice when it comes to, uh, you know, everything. Yank. Eat some more berries. Cool. See, this game both seems to have a story and a major survival multiplayer component. So, I do wonder if the whole point of the game is to facilitate both kinds of players. The survival players, the multiplayer star players, and everything in between. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully these bodies will stay, but in case they don't, I will need a small fire pit. Oh, I not have enough sticks. How in the world do you not have enough sticks? I, there needs to be a way to increase my carrying capacity. I'm sure there's a way. I'm hoping there's a way. I do need more rocks. Hello. Nice little campsite. Electrical tape. Old pot collected. Another rock. Another backpack. so mad I'm so so mad I just like I wanted to make my shelter I really badly just Wanted to make my shelter before I got too into uh, grabbing all the new stuff. I just wanted to make it. I wanted to make sure it's all nice and pretty. I was... And there was one next to me the entire time. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Nothing about this makes me upset at all. I promise. Give me your bones, kid. At least I have a, a pot. At least I have the pot. That's all that matters. God, so bad. Like, I could have just gone over the damn area, looked at it for a second, and I wouldn't have had an issue. But I didn't. I just was waiting and, and thinking to myself, Ah, oh, no, I can do it later. It's totally fine. 
is totally cool. We can just look at it later. And here we are. God damn it. All right. Well, I'll, I'll link this guy with a green flag. Green flag meaning good home. Green for for home, blue for caves. And I don't know, red for point of interest. God. God. We will explore the anchor next episode. Goodbye, friends. Thank you.